Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a fantastic day and today's video is going to be another Fortnite PC video in which I'm going to go over the version 2.10 patch notes which is going to be introducing the cozy campfire as the Fortnite devs are actually calling it. If you guys have never seen my videos before and you're not already subscribed, please go and check them out and go and subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure to slap a like on this video too as it just kind of helps me out and supports me a little bit. So thank you very much if you do that and uh, yeah let's get into uh, today's actual video so first off let me just go and say that nobody knew when the cozy campfire uh, release date was actually going to be out but epic games did a little uh, patch notes today and they actually said that the release date is going to be the january 10th so 10th of january which is tomorrow i guess you guys are seeing this on the 9th right now and uh, yeah that is when we can expect the next update in Battle Royale Fortnite. And um, so let us go over a couple of patch notes right now of what we can expect in this update. First being the cozy campfire one. Uh, so it says here that uh, the campfire is going to be a healing trap and it's going to be placed on a floor and persist uh, for 25 seconds. So when once you actually put the trap down, it'll go for 25 seconds. And what this trap actually does is heals 2 HP per second to anybody that is standing around it on your team or duo and that's pretty cool I like that they actually added like an, a big healing item that can heal nearby people too I see a lot of games doing this in the like in the past and everything and I'm pretty happy that the devs actually thought of this and added it in now the rarity of this item is going to be a blue rare so I'm assuming that you are going to find it out and about and uh, they actually confirm that it can be found anywhere so if you open up a chest there's a possibility it'll pop out if you're inside the building there's a possibility you will find it which I kind of don't get I don't understand why a campfire set would be inside a building but anyway that's that's just the way it is now along with this update uh, they're actually introducing a shadow play highlights feature to the PC players who play this game and what that is, is um, it's actually this kind of highlights kind of real thing where every time you get a headshot or a revive or something crazy or a down, um, NVIDIA graphics cards, if you have one in your PC, will automatically uh, capture the highlight. And it just kind of makes it easier to uh, get your best clips and upload them to like YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, wherever you want to do it basically. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a pretty big feature actually. It's a huge feature in PlayerUnknown's battlegrounds a lot of people use it a lot of people love it i know i do and um for those of you who don't already know this feature is you can either enable it or disable it so you know it's it's not forced upon you so every time you get a kill it won't always pop up uh, you know you got one kill it got recorded and everything so if you don't want this on you can just deactivate it in the option menu uh, of your game uh, so anyway, we're going to go over a couple of the patch notes for the Battle Royale, and uh, the first one is weapons. The, now the boogie bomb dance effect it will be removed when taking damage. Um, so basically, when you actually activate the boogie bomb on somebody, you can shoot them as many times for 5 seconds. But now if you activate the boogie, 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 boogie bomb, the booby bomb, we like the booby bomb better. Uh, so when you activate the booby bomb on a person, uh, the minute that you shoot them, it will be removed. So they will be able to actually shoot you again and stuff like that, which I kind of don't understand what they did that for. Um, but they did say that they will actually kind of monitor the functionality of it and kind of see if people like it that way. And if not, they'll most likely change it again. Uh, but now, anyway, the Boogie Bomb has actually became a rarity to blue uh, because apparently, like, it was a white rare or something like that and nobody could ever find it. So now it's actually a blue rare and, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot more harder to find, I guess. Now, moving on to the gameplay, they've actually fixed an issue which caused players to pass through their recently built and edited structures. Um, I've had that a couple of times. It's really annoying. It got me killed and trapped a, hun a bunch of times. And uh, I'm pretty happy that they've actually fixed that. Uh, they've also fixed an issue which allowed sniper bullets to pass through players without applying any damage. Personally, never came across that. Uh, everyone who shoots me with a sniper fucking kills me. So, um, yeah, yeah, pretty pretty good about that. And uh, they've also fixed an animation issue caused by entering the down but not out state while in the air. Never seen it, but anyway, it's good to know. 
They've also done a little bit of audio change to uh, enemy footsteps. Apparently, they've increased the audible range of enemy footsteps as well as their overall volume. So, uh, footsteps in general will be louder now. So, that's pretty good. Uh, they've already... It says... Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? We are aware of an issue causing footsteps to sometimes play at irregular intervals when off screen. We're working on a fix now to expect it in the next update. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means. Basically, footsteps just sound random every now and then. Like, low light, heavy, and stuff like that. I don't know. Um, so now enemy uh, footsteps are easier to hear when performing certain actions, such as building, shooting, or collecting resources. That is a good update. I'm really happy about that. It's pretty good. And uh, let's see. I'm just trying to go over all of the better things that you guys are going to be interested in, I guess. Um, they've also, also fixed a phantom bullet sound. Um, so basically, every now and then, I'm sure a lot of you guys have got it, because I've got it a bunch of times, where uh, once we're in a game, it'll just sound like there's bullets dropping on the floor every now and then. And I'm like, very, pr like, I'm like, is that you? Like, really? load your weapon or your shotgun and my teammates will be like no no definitely not i don't even have a shotgun and it'll just be basically random bullets that just sound like they're reloading so yeah very very strange but uh, i'm very glad that they've actually done that now too um moving on to the ui they fixed an issue which caused push to talk setting to disappear from the battle royale setting so basically if you don't know what that means um push to talk sometimes on some people's uh but like fortnite would never even exist like there wouldn't be an option to push to talk at all so uh, for those of you who, who have been experiencing this issue uh, I'm, I'm sure that you guys are going to be very happy they've also shortened a few daily challenge descriptions just because they were running off screen or something like that a uh, pretty poop stuff anyway um, and lastly but not least the general settings are they fixed a rare battle royale server crash and also nvidia shadow play highlights on pc now work for battle royale Fortnite. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest guys. I mean, they've, they haven't really done much in terms of adding things to the game uh, other than the, you know, the fire, uh, the cozy campfire uh, to be honest. But it's good to see that they are narrowing down a couple of fixes and bugs and everything like that. Very happy to hear about that. Especially the um, especially the one about the push to talk one because a couple of friends of mine are having a big pro problem with that. So yeah, very awesome indeed. Uh, well anyway guys, if you did enjoy today's video and it kind of informed you about news that you didn't already know please remember to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications uh, you might see a load of uh, roblox content on the channel uh, I'm, I'm starting to kind of sly away from that a little bit now and i'm trying to become a big fortnite channel because uh, i love the game i'm pretty poop at it but i'm trying to get better so yeah um well anyway thank you very much for watching guys and uh, yeah until next time i've been star lord oh see you